parts of the state as well as Kentucky. We're keeping a close eye on some things now as flash flood warnings being issued. A new one just issued for parts of southern West Virginia. Let's get right into it there. Now this one in eastern Kentucky, Pike County right there in Floyd County, Kentucky. Impact out here. You want the sunscreen if you're outside at all today. Now behind me, it is kids day out here. Look how packed it is with all the kids here. Now what we found out, I was actually having a conversation with you of Hurricane Irma still tracking to the west and you can see just how much power this storm has with it. Let's take a look at the projected track here on Greenbrier Street. Notice the road behind me. Not too bad. The good thing to see people going slow out here taking their time. The coal fields, but again with these rounds of showers coming through you lose that energy in the atmosphere and you can see just how many lightning strikes there were a few hours ago. Compare that to now. I should say last Wednesday we saw something similar to this and we had those tornado warnings come in the wind damage power out Outages. I'm happy to say we don't have to worry about that. It looks like it's smooth sailing. Yes, it, most of us right now are in the absolute clear when it comes to what we're seeing as far as the radar goes. We do have one spot. I wanted to show you this. There it is. Way up north, though, near Pomeroy. That's been a very slow moving little cell popping up there. It's just now starting to make its way into West Virginia. Shouldn't be a problem for most of us once again. In fact, let me show you over the last uh, three or four hours. Here. Sun actually coming out now, but behind me back to the north, you can see that heavy rainfall making its way through. And Jim was just talking about it. Very quick moving storm. Since we've been out here, we started off very cloudy. We had some rain as well, but then the sun started to go back. And as we look back towards the northwest, you can see that really the sun's starting to come out and starting to heat things up. That's not what we want to see anytime we start to see these thunderstorms pop up. This is just going to add to that instability we've seen throughout the afternoon. Here in the next three hours, in fact, we have a few severe thunderstorm warnings popping up there in Tennessee. You can see some early rotation here. Hail though, that's going to be our biggest problem. You can see this system starting to form up and it's going to be short lived. The heaviest of this right around four o'clock. The lightning's popping though. We're keeping an eye. That severe thunderstorm warning here back in Kentucky just issued about two minutes ago. Ended forecast showing that comfortable weather sticking around for wouldn't you believe it? Yeah. Thursday and Friday night, we're talking about high school football. It's already back. Of course, we'll keep you covered there. We'll have our Friday night football extra and the Friday night game of the week here on WC. Brought to you by the Dutch Miller Automotive Group. Well, so far we've been mostly on the dry side of things, but now Eastern Kentucky seeing the power of some of these showers start to move in. Now, so far it's just been steady rain, but it's starting to ramp up a little bit, especially in southern West Virginia. You can see that near Logan. We're beginning to see some of these cells develop here. No lightning with this. That's the good news. But this is just going to be the first uh, little batch we have setting up here. It's going to be more towards three four o'clock in the afternoon that I start to worry a little bit. This is uh, really just the initial setup back towards the east. We've been even seeing some sunshine, never something you want to see before the potential for severe weather. I'm going to take a wide look here because we're just on the edge of this thing. Notice this track from north to south sliding up and look where all that lightning is right there at the Tennessee Virginia border. This is the strongest of these cells. That's heading our way. Now, if it holds together, which it certainly has the potential to do, we could be seeing some heavy showers making their way through southern West Virginia here in the next three hours. In fact, we have a few severe thunderstorm warnings popping up there in Tennessee. You can see some early rotation here. Hail, though, that's going to be our biggest problem. You can see this system starting to form up, and it's going to be short-lived. The heaviest of this right around 4 o'clock. The lightning's popping, though. We're keeping an eye. That severe thunderstorm warning here back in Kentucky just issued about two minutes ago, and it's still sliding this way. So I wouldn't be surprised if we at least see some severe thunderstorm watches pop up ahead of this thing. But because it's going to be so short lived, it's certainly possible that they skip out on it and you may go straight into a warning. Of course, if you see that, that's when you want to take cover because hail and wind today, that's our two main threats. We just have a lot of energy in the atmosphere for this to happen. Wind threats certainly uh, could be some broken glass out there if we do see uh, something blowing into a window or something like that. So be on the lookout for this. Here's what the future cast shows. Notice right around three o'clock. That's when the heavy rains starting to make its way in, especially as we look towards Boone County, parts of Lincoln County, Kanawha County. We all have that strong, strong storm potential here. It slides in from north to south again. So we have an unusual pattern setting up 430. It moves further east. 
back here we get the break. That's the nice part about this storm. It's not going to be all day and we only have maybe an hour, two hours of very strong storms to deal with. But the timing of this is going to mean the evening commutes going to be needing to go slow out there. I'm expecting heavy rain, especially along the uh, turnpike for this uh, evening. And then we get another round of showers later tonight. We get a break early Thursday. Notice here on the future cast, though, we get some more rain heading our way for Thursday evening. It sticks around and finally we get into Thursday night. We get the last little dregs of some showers. We do get a break from this, thankfully, and we don't have to deal with this anymore. The rest of your week, 66 for tomorrow. Very cool out there with those rain showers sticking around Friday. We ramp right back up. Best day of the week is Friday and then Monday Memorial Day 81 and we get a break from the rain once again. And you, if you woke up early before the sunshine came out, it was in the mid 60s. It felt very muggy though. Now the mugginess, it's left us a little bit. We're staying away from the oppressive humidity, but once you get temperatures above 80 and into the 90s, it really doesn't matter what that humidity is out there. In fact, right now across the board, temperatures are staying steady in the mid to low 80s out there. Notice even to the north, 86 and Athens, actually the hottest spot right now coming in tied with Ashland, 85 here in Charleston and 80 over in Lewisburg. So some warm conditions just settling in here all across uh, really what the central part of the state and not only here. Look at this, even Buffalo, New York, 77 degrees, 79 up in Chicago there. So this warm air, it's being really drawn in from the south. We have the jet stream migrating to the north here, allowing that to happen. Back to the west, a different story. They're seeing temperatures in the 60s out there. Really the main reason for it, again, that jet stream coming in, pushing in this heat and humidity from the south. And they have some storms out there actually out west. Notice here on the radar for us, no issues. Closest even cloud covers, uh, really central Kentucky and parts of Ohio there, but those are just thin. Some upper level clouds, those are going to start to drift in for tomorrow and actually helps us keep a little bit cooler. But back to the west again, these had some storms up here, some tornadoes reported up in Wisconsin, lots of destruction with that. And then along the Oklahoma uh, border as well, we were hearing reports of tornadoes uh, earlier in the show if you were watching there. We stay away from that severe weather. That's not going to be our concern really at all for the next several days. It's just this heat coming in. In fact, the future cast here will show a brief future cast here because really just not much going on. Plenty of sunshine for the rest of the day. Hot temperatures certainly, but we cool off quickly. No real cloud cover sticking around. So that heat's allowed to escape. We wake up tomorrow morning, sunshine once again, and then notice a few showers starting to drift into the northern half of Ohio there. Some rain may try to form up here, but it's just so hot and there's not a lot really of a disturbance in that atmosphere for any of this rain to form up. So just a few spotty, spotty showers is the key word there because anything we have is just going to be very short lived out there. Now it's all about those temperatures I mentioned. Let's get into it. Temperature forecast rest of the day by four o'clock. There it is 90 in Charleston and Ashland. Yeah, it's going to be hot out there. 76 for Charleston. By the time we wake up tomorrow morning, we're still in the 70s. We cool off, we warm back up, not quite as warm tomorrow. Again, the clouds really help us out in the upper 70s there for the start of Friday. And then we stay in the mid 80s as some rain tries to make its way in. And record highs today, I mentioned it. Huntington's fine. Charleston though, yeah, the tie, certainly not out of the question here. And then again, the rest of this week, we just start to cool off. Friday, we keep those rain chances in there, very spotty once again, no big concerns there. The big cool down. It's not coming until we get into the start of next week.